Hey Brett, it's uh, Chris Huss here. I know it's uh, been a while since we've seen each other, since our uh, time together at uh, NRMD, but just wanted to say it was always a pleasure working with you and speaking with you. I know we had uh, some time to, to chat together a lot, and I, I really appreciate that. It was a great encouragement to me. And now uh, uh, I have to say I was pretty, uh, pretty torn up when I heard about uh, your condition and what you've been going through. <clears throat> and I know I can't even, I, I won't lie and say I can imagine what you're going through because I can't. I can't even imagine what you've been through with all the, the treatments, the pain and everything and, and all the suffering you've had to endure uh, over, the, over the time of um, your condition. So I just want to say, brother, I'm really, really sorry that you're going through this. I'm really sorry that you're enduring this. Uh, however, you know, God is still there. He's still for you. Uh, and I know that, that He can help you through this. You know, in, in times when I get discouraged and down, and like I said, I can't even begin to, my, my worst days can't even begin to compare to what you're going through. But I just want to try and encourage you today uh, with a couple verses from Scripture. Uh, Jeremiah 29.11 says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Your, your life is in the Lord's hands, Brett, and you know He doesn't want you to go before He's ready for you to come home to Him. So I just encourage you to, to rest in that, that the Lord knows you. He has thoughts toward you to give you an expected end, and I don't know when that will be. I don't know what the Lord will do in your life, but He has an expected end for you, and it's in His timing. The Lord knows when your time is, is going to come. It will come for all of us, but you know, not before God determines. Also, uh, Romans chapter 8, and I like to, to look here when I, when I feel discouraged as well. Sorry, let me just turn there. This might be a lengthy video. Sorry about that. <laughs> Romans chapter 8. And a verse number 28 says, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to His purpose. So, you know, it may seem like what you're going through, that, that God has forgotten you, but I can assure you that He has not, that He has a purpose for your life, um, that it is to bring Him honor and glory in. You know, if the Lord brings healing, then, then praise God. If the Lord brings you home to Him to glory, then, then praise Him as well. You know, I hope that, and I'm praying that you have many years left on this earth with your family and with your children. You know, that's what I'm praying for you, and I just ask, I ask God that, that He would allow that. You know, but if not, your, your testimony will speak volumes to those around you, and perhaps, you know, many people even come to know Jesus Christ as uh, their Savior, as they see you endure this trial with the hope that is in the Lord. In verse uh, 35 of that same chapter of Romans says, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress, or persecution or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? As it is written, For thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. No matter what happens, Jesus loves you. God has an expected end for you, and He has a purpose for your life, Brett. I know you're going through a tough time. I know you're going through a trial of, of great magnitude. Like I said, that I can't even imagine what you've had to endure. But in James chapter 1, it says, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse trials. Knowing this, the trying of your faith works patience. And patience, again, leads to faith and hope. So, Brett, I know that from your testimony, from the times that we've talked, I know you're a godly man. I'm praying for you. The Lord has a purpose for your life. This trial is for a reason. You know, perhaps um, the Lord will allow you to come through this and just be a testimony of His goodness 
to those around you. So I'd just encourage you to hang in there. I know it's tough. Uh, pray a lot. Rely on God. Find comfort in Him. The Bible says, be still and know that I am God. So just be still and know that, that He, that you are in His hands, ultimately. And that your life has a purpose, has a reason. And to end it before your time, before God's appointed time, would be uh, tragedous, and tragedy for, for everyone around you, for those that you love. So, Brett, I would just encourage you to hang in there and rely on God. You know, also, in, in times when, when I struggle, um, I think of the story of, of Horatio Spafford, the man who penned the words to It Is Well With My Soul, a wonderful hymn that we often sing in church. But not too many people know his backstory. He was a businessman living in Chicago, a Christian man, a good friend of the evangelist D.L. Moody. Uh, he endured some tragic things in his life. Uh, his son died in, in 1873. And uh, two years later, he decided that uh, his family needed a vacation. So they uh, set off for Europe, except he had to stay in Chicago uh, to take care of some last minute business. So he he sent his family on a ship over to England before him, his wife and four remaining daughters. Uh, tragically, their ship was struck by another ship and sank, and 226 people on that ship died, including his four daughters. When his wife arrived in England, um, she sent a telegraph back to him with two words, saved alone. can't even imagine what he must have been feeling in that moment knowing that all that remained of his family was his wife, his four daughters, died tragically in that incident. But even then, uh, Horatio set off for England, and as he was crossing the Atlantic, they crossed the very spot where the, the tragedy happened in that time. The, the captain called him to the bridge and let Mr. Spafford know that, that this was the spot where his daughters had died. And he could have felt despair. I'm sure he did. He could have felt sorrowful. I'm sure there was some amount of mourning that went on in his life. But it was in that moment when they were crossing the very spot where his daughters uh, tragically perished that he went to his room and penned the words to, it is well with my soul. I can't even imagine what he, had, he went through, but, but he was a man of great faith who, who trusted in God enough that he was able to write those words, it is well with my soul, even in the midst of his deep personal tragedy and loss. So, if you'll permit me, I know this, this video is already almost eight minutes long, but I'm just going to sing the verses of, of It Is Well With My Soul for you. I hope that it will be a blessing and an encouragement to you. So just, uh, I'll try to play slow enough for you to listen to the words, but just uh, just listen along. When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. Though Satan should buffet, though trials should come, let this blessed assurance control that Christ hath regarded my helpless estate and has shed his own blood for my soul my sin oh the bliss of this glorious thought my sin not in part but the whole is nailed to the cross and I bear it no more praise the Lord praise the Lord O oh my soul and Lord haste the day when my faith shall be sight 
The clouds be rolled back as a scroll The trump shall resound And the Lord shall descend Even so it is well with my soul Well, Brett, I uh, hope this has been an encouragement to you. I love you and your family very dearly, and we're praying for you. And uh, hope to see you soon. Take care, brother.